You know, we've been talking a lot about people power and how crowds can be very smart. Ah, a definite crowd pleaser. And how groups of friends can be explained. The wonder of the strength in numbers. And how group theory actually works. Let's get a grouping together. <laughs> Will you stop it? Be serious. I have one more quirky math fact to share with you about people power. We say hip hip hooray and cheer. Are you listening? Okay, okay, what? Have you ever met someone who actually shares the same birthday as you? Actually, I have. What a coincidence. That's just it. It's not such a coincidence. It's actually quite common to find someone who has the same birthday as you and math can explain why. According to the birthday coincidence, in a group of just 23 people, there is a more than 50% chance that two people will share the same birthday. Wait, really? Hmm, let's test it out. This is Jasmine 2 class and they're all 6 years old. There are 23 of them here and among them, Etienne and Vivian share a birthday. How is that possible? Let Matt explain. Let's start with just two people, Taiman and Ruhi. What do you think are the odds of them having the same birthday? Taiman's birthday is on... And Ruhi's birthday is on... No surprises here, no matching birthdays. Math tells us why. There are 365 days in a year. With two people, the possible combinations of their two birthdays is 365 times 365. But since Taiman's birthday is on 4th of April 2012, that leaves Ruhi 364 days to have a birthday different from Taiman's. So, of the over 100,000 combinations of birthdays between Taiman and Ruhi, the odds of Taiman and Ruhi not sharing a birthday in the combinations is high. But if you add another person, the chance of the three not sharing a birthday drops. Carry on adding people and by the time you hit just 23 people, the odds of them not sharing a birthday drops to 49.27%. Meaning there is a more than 50% chance there will be two people in the group who will have the same birthdays. Go up to 43 people, the odds of two people with the same birthdays go up to 92%. So, what have we learned from this? We've learned that coincidences may not be so coincidental after all. So don't say there is no chance of it ever happening to you. Matt tells you it can, and quite often too. Hey! Understanding combinations and the chance of things happening in the world have helped save lives too. Doctors can estimate the chance of finding organs that match for transplants. And it's helped solve crimes. Crime labs can better calculate the chance of finding a match in DNAs found at crime scenes. Did you enjoy this episode of Make It Count? Keep hanging with us. We have more ways to show you how math can make your everyday better. 